Hello everyone and welcome to St. Michael's Podcast, Episode 7. Today we have a special guest, Mason. Hello. And today we're also going to be doing Memoirs of an 8th Grader and the DC Recap. I'm Keaton, I have Ruthie and Brady here, so let's go ahead and get started. So to start off with the DC Recap, how many days was the trip? Six days. Six days, yeah. Which, two days were spent traveling most of the time, so... I mean, if you really want to count it before, but the two days traveling will also count as uh, part of the trip. So, can you guys give a brief overview of the trip? Like, what all happened? Alright, so, day one was a travel day, so we spent the entire time on the bus. Uh, First day in D.C., we got a lot of the big stuff done. We did the Monument March, we went to Arlington Cemetery. Um, Day three... Uh, I know we went to the Iwo Jima Memorial. Do you know what else we did day three? Uh, day three was also the... Oh, Korean the, War Memorial. The Korean War Memorial. Vietnam. A lot yeah. of... So, more memorials then. Um, the fourth day, Wednesday, we went to the Naval Academy. The Naval Academy and the Basilica. The National Shrine and Basilica. Yeah. Day five, Gettysburg... Um, so we spent the entire day at Gettysburg. We went to multiple Gettysburg. parts of Gettysburg. We went to the actual town of Gettysburg. We ha- went to the battlefield. We went to a museum and all sorts of different things. Little and big round top. Yeah. Both. Both very cool places. I highly recommend going if you go in that area of the world. So last day was a travel day back as well. We, al- we also went to the uh, Flight 93. We did there. go. Yes, we took a stop on the way back at Flight 93, which I highly recommend. That was one of the craziest parts. The Flight 93 Memorial. Memorial. Flight, yeah, well, yeah. yeah Just the at the Machina. Yeah. So, what would you guys say was your favorite place that you visited? Uh, I, th- I think the Air and Space Museum was pretty cool. And okay, why is that your favorite? It just had a whole lot of different planes that had a whole lot of history. Like the... Uh, the Enola Gay was the uh, bomber that dropped the n- nuclear weapon on Nagasaki, was it? Or was it Hiroshima? Uh, one I think, of them. I think one it was of Hiroshima. The two. I think, uh, yeah. I would have to do two. research into it, but I don't really know off the top of my head. Um, my favorite was either the Naval Academy, because I'm just interested in military schools, or maybe even Flight 93. So. Yeah. I would have to say Gettysburg. I thought it was really cool to see the battlefield and battlefield and everything there all the different places we read about in books and got told about by father aaron what was one of the most interesting things you saw on the trip the people <laughs> there were all sorts of very interesting people there very to watch. interesting <laughs> yes there's a lot of interesting things there it's hard to pick out one but i would have to say probably like t- the amount of cannons there at Gettysburg, and oh, maybe that's ridiculous. Maybe the uh, planes at the um, Air and Space Museum. There's those plenty of those. One there. thing I did notice, and I thought was funny, is that almost every single person in Washington D.C. wears a suit. Like almost yes. every guy wears a suit. So that was funny. It, it's either that, or they have a Washington D.C. shirt on, yeah. and they're there <laughs> for a trip. Yes. So, what is one thing that you learned on the trip? Lots. Um, Gettysburg, we did a full in-depth, like, dissection of it, so I, I, there's so much I could, like, hardly come up with one thing. Well, since we were supposed to, since Father asked us to have a paragraph of information for a certain thing, each of us had our own, uh, certain memorial monument, and we, and so I learned a little bit about every other place that we went to, because somebody had their card to say about it. Mm-hmm. So just like mine, I had a card on Fort McHenry, which we went to and got to see. It was pretty cool, and I learned about a lot of things that what it did during the Civil War, which was a prisoner of war camp and other things like that. And um, so now we're going to end the D.C. recap part, and we're going to go into the memoirs of an eighth grader part of our um, podcast today. So how many years have everyone been at St. Michael's? I've been here since uh, kindergarten, so I'd say that would be eight. 
I've been here since fourth grade, so that'd be four, fifth, six, seven. This will be five years for me. Wait, no, my, no, it's nine, right? Yes, nine. Is nine. Oh shoot! Yeah. <laughs> I didn't yeah. learn much while I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we learn a lot. Uh, I've also, <laughs> been, <laughs> we've also, yeah, we've also, I've also been here since kindergarten, so nine. Um, so, what was your favorite part, uh, like, of being here at Saint Michael? Um, I mean, I don't really know. <laughs> My favorite part. Like, elaborate on the favorite part. Just like saying what, about St. Michael's. What is your favorite thing about St. Michael's? If you were going to sell it to somebody, mm. how would you get them here? Outstanding staff and teachers. Yeah, I would have to agree with that. It also very much prepares you for high school, Does where it? a lot of kids from, I think, public schools, especially if they're moving into a Catholic school or a Christian school, definitely a big step for them so we're definitely prepared here i've also heard a lot a lot of kids saying that um they have these essays that they have to write and now they did these essays at saint michael's and like oh these are so easy compared to saint michael's Mm -hmm. so So, what was your guys's favorite trip that you've done here at saint michael's that you've gone on dc i'd have to agree dc I like the I like the uh, children's museum trips oh, we used yeah, to go. Yeah, on. those are always fun, good times. Children's museum, magical place. Oh, I would God. recommend going. <laughs> magical. <laughs> it's very magical. It's a great place. What was your guys' favorite projects that you've done here at St. Michael's? Pick out one. Country cousins. Country cousins. Yeah. Um, mine's a little smaller, but I like some of the art projects we did, specifically like video game characters. That was fun to do. Uh, yeah, I'd have to say probably a project that we did with the book Animal Farm, it's where we had to make an escape plan for the um, the animals to get out, and it was a fun project. It made your brain think. It's a lot more difficult than it sounds. It is. It's a lot more difficult than it sounds. So, what was your guys' favorite grade and like class? Like year? Yeah, year, and then can you tell me your favorite class oh, overall? Fourth grade was a vibe. Mrs. Deer, she's gone now, but I loved her. Everyone was really nice back then. We're all still nice. It's just, you know, we grew up. <laughs> yeah. How about your favorite class? My favorite class? Uh, chemistry last year was fun. Yeah. I, I like Miss Madison Gale. So, what activities have you guys done at school at St. Michael's? I participate in basketball and uh, tech team. I have a pretty long list. Um, volleyball, basketball, kickball, game club, chess club, ladies club. Student Council Battle of the Books. That's all I can think of. Yeah, I've done Battle, oh. of, Battle of the Books, Basketball, oh, yeah, about the Student books. Council when that was still around. Oh, yeah. Um, chess Club when that was a thing. And Game Club at, at 1.2. Gentlemen's Club. What would you say um, your favorite activity was, though? Battle of the Books is great. Battle Especially books. when we won. Yeah, about, yeah. yeah. When we won Battle of the Books against Mount Vernon High School. By uh, one point, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, one point. Was it was very stressful. I'd have that to was, say that. Yeah, that was probably my favorite, even though I was scared. Yeah, I'd have to say that. Either that or basketball. Yeah, basketball was kind of fun. <clears throat> so at school, what was like the favorite book that you read? The Giver series. Lord of the Flies was Mm-mm. very interesting. It well, it well, it did. It get it. It got interesting. Um, how also, I would have game. to say. I would have to say Lord of the Flies or um, Animal Farm. Those were some pretty good books. I like Animal uh, Farm. Also. Yeah. What's one? Of the, what's uh, the favorite thing that you have learned here? Chemistry. Thank you, chemistry. Punnett really? squares, balancing equations. I don't know. I just I really liked that. What about you? I would have to say like some of the uh, social studies stuff we learned, like Gettysburg. Learning about that with father was a lot of fun, and I. And I say to the seventh graders doing it next year to look forward to it because it will be a lot of fun <laughs> doing it, learning about that, and then going on D.C. and going to Gettysburg. Uh, sorry for the pause. <laughs> um, I, was, I was thinking, I had to really think. Favorite, th- favorite thing I've learned have to be one of the many math equations that Mr. Farrell's oh, pumped yeah. into my head. There. Yeah. Just, yeah. 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 We know, yeah. We know. So, how about some other memories that you guys have of being here? We just—I just thought of this one today. 
the girls and boys would fight over who got to sit on top of the slide last year. Yes, that was, you would. That was funny. We would get into it, too. We'd be, like, trying to pull people <laughs> off the slide and, like, yeah. get up there ourselves. That was funny. Yeah. We have a lot uh, of I wouldn't recommend pulling people off the Let's slide. Not That's a little that. dangerous. Let's not yeah. do that. Learn from that and don't do it. Um, I also remember some of like different things we got to do when we were younger like go to holiday park i think that's what it was called do those kind of things goes on different field trips just make memories overall that was a lot of fun <laughs> i'd have to say like like mason mentioned the children's museum all that was that all was fun. Fun. yeah but that's gonna be the end of our <laughs> podcast for today i thank you all for listening have a great day thank you god so bless much.